Hey, y'all, we told y'all about, of course, Eric Garner. <laughs> Yesterday, fifth anniversary of his uh, death. Uh, the Department of Justice chose not to file civil rights charges. Uh, there was a rally yesterday uh, in New York. Uh, uh, of course, Gwen Carr, the mother of uh, Eric Garner, uh, she was attending. That's why she didn't join us yesterday. She joins us right now. Uh, Gwen, first of all, uh, thank you for holding on. I, I know you were patient, uh, but we had to unpack all of that stuff. Um, this, this is the end of the road, if you will. We're just simply waiting for the administrative judge to decide whether or not this office is going to lose his job. Um, what's next for you and your family when it comes to seeking justice? Well, we're going to still be out there. It doesn't matter uh, because that the Justice Department, they talk about a statute of limitations uh, ran out in five years. But actually... There is no statute of limitations for death. That's what I, for, uh, I'm sorry, for murder. And, um, and it doesn't end with this administration. We won't have this administration forever. And we can always go to another administration and, you know, ask for it to be looked at. It could be revisited. This is, I mean, obviously, when that decision came down, first of all, were you expecting them to do nothing? Or were you hopeful they were actually going to listen to the department, the Civil Rights Division? Well, with this administration, I wasn't surprised. I was just disappointed. Because we still live in a country called America. And there should be justice where justice is due. And, you know, we didn't get any accountability from the police officer. And not only uh, Pantaleo, there was others who should have been fired also. But they did nothing but turn their heads. And the only ones that went to jail was, was Ramsey Otto, the one who took the video. The only person who's in jail. Um, again, New York has dragged their feet. They have not moved on this officer. Finally, we're waiting to hear from this judge. And I think we got to call out the city, the city leadership in New York. In fact, this guy has been on the job getting raises, getting more than six-figure salary for five years after, your, yes. after he killed your son. Yes, a raise every year, padding the payroll, padding the pension, because he wasn't even vested when he murdered my son. But now he's vested, he's making overtime. See, they're preparing him for, so if he does lose his job, he's still set for life. Gwen Carr, it's always good to talk to you. Uh, we're going to keep uh, standing with you and demanding justice. Thank I you. Gwen, I appreciate it. Thank you so very much. Oh, uh, you're welcome. Uh,